Law of Attraction. Nothing is impossible. Hello my good friend. I do hope you are doing very good. Thank you so much for choosing to view my video clip. And, click the like button. It's helpful and much appreciated. I've written a book, Nothing is Impossible, and you can read it free online or buy it $1. I've left the link to the book below. How to Attract Anything You Want, Wealth, Happiness and Comfort Did you know you have the ability to materialize anything and everything you desire and need? Nothing is impossible. Everything happening to you now, good or bad, you yourself have attracted. You may ask, how is this at all possible? Let me tell you the greatest secret of life, the universe answers your every call, it is constantly telling you, your wish is my command. First of all, the law of attraction operates on certain principles which are like attracts like gratitude. The law of attraction also operates on other laws of the universe such as the law of personal responsibility, the law of giving, the law of harmony, the law of commitment. I made a study of the Christian teachings and found Jesus actually didn't bring any law except the laws of the universe. Jesus was hence persecuted by the Hebrew adepts for revealing these so-called secret laws which were kept hidden from public perception. The small, minute minority elite of his time kept knowledge hidden from the masses in order to enslave them. Today, mankind continues to be enslaved by the elitists who have succeeded in creating a false reality for you and I. It's so bad that everything we believe are false. Jesus actually revealed some of the seemingly forbidden powerful laws of the universe such as, it's in giving you shall receive dash, the meek shall inherit the world, turn the other cheek, what you plow you shall reap. Lao Tzu, an ancient Chinese philosopher, once said, watch your thoughts, they become your words, watch your words, they become your actions, watch your actions, they become your habits, watch your habits, they become your character, watch your character it becomes your destiny. The universe is a life-creating holographic organism. And since the universe is responsible for giving you life, it also sustains you. The universe was put in motion by a superior being, we call the Creator or God. Nothing created by a created being can ever give life. It is the Supreme Being who puts in motion the magnificent universe which accommodates all life. How do you attract the laws of the universe to work for you? There are numerous books written on the law of attraction, but what I'm introducing here is a higher paradigm. In order to fully perceive and comprehend the secret of the law of attraction, we should perceive it from an all-encompassing perspective. We cannot perceive the law of attraction the way we think it operates, but rather understand it the way it really is. First off all, there are no higher laws than the laws of the universe. Secondly, the law of attraction is our innate God-given right of human survival. Thirdly, the mighty law of attraction comes not from this world, but it's based on the law of divine mercy, divine given sustenance, divine given prosperity, divine given happiness. The law of attraction is central to all the laws of the universe. You may inquire, why is the law of attraction not working for me? Only you yourself are in the positions to answer that. I may add, coupled with the law of attraction, comes the concept of patience. The law of attraction operates on different levels. For some people, the resulting success comes almost immediately, and also for some, success would materialize before they wished for it. That everything they touch turns to gold. And, consequently, while for others and most of us, positive results would appear after quite a long while. Yet for others, no success would come at all. Why? This depends on your own level of spiritual awareness and level of spiritual development. On the reverse side, most people for whom the law of attraction seemingly works, are those who are extremely materialistic. Why? Let me explain briefly. If you were raised by an impoverished family, 10 to 1, your inner belief system on a subconscious level has already been conditioned to accept the notion that it's extremely difficult to obtain wealth and all the things you desire, which would make you happy and contented. Just look around you. Almost all those wealthy individuals were raised by wealthy families. 
Look around you again. Almost all those impoverished individuals around you were raised by poor families. Look around you yet again. Even if a poor person suddenly would strike it rich, he or she would sooner or later lose all the wealth again. Why? This is due to his or her conditioning whilst growing up. I live in Cape Town, South Africa. I read in the local newspaper Zulu Laborer won the lotto jackpot. He, consequently went for his payout after he asked his foreman for the morning off. While he waited upon his check, he reprimanded the officials of the payout to make it snappy, because he had to get back to work. The newspaper reported further, the payout officials, consequently, instructed him to go for counseling, because he won so much money he didn't need to continue to continue to work as a construction laborer. Another incident was, one lotto winner drank himself to death with all the money he had won through the lotto. In another incident, the lucky lotto winner bought an expensive car and drove himself to death. Other lotto winners got plagued for money by family and friends. Even if a person who has nothing in living a simple life and who was raised by a wealthy family, 10 to 1, he or she would quickly rise to the top. Why is this so? It's due to your mental conditioning since childhood. You should release yourself from the shackles of an enslaved mind. The human brain is exactly like a computer, or the other way around. What you feed into your brain, would be the resultative consequence. When you think or utter something, what happens is that your brain then rewires itself according to what you've just thought, uttered and believed. If you believe you can get out of your rut you may find yourself in, then you will sooner or later get out of your present condition. There was a time when I found myself in abject poverty. I looked for positive options. I had no income to buy a book, but I frequented my local library. And, I realized something after reading Donald Trump's book. I also watched a movie on his life. Donald Trump was down and out, completely broke. But one day he looked at the tallest building in his city in the USA and pointed at the building and said to himself, I'm gonna buy that building. You guys know what? Donald Trump, while being down and out, actually did buy that building. After some alterations to the building, he resold it to a willing buyer and then became an instant millionaire. The story of Coco Chanel is very much similar. Her father was in dire poverty during the Depression, early last century. He gave up Coco and her sister to a convent because he could no longer feed them. Coco, consequently, moved to the USA from France for a better life where she became extremely rich. How did Coco Chanel and Donald Trump do it? I realize they surrounded themselves with very rich friends who were willing to be of help if they could benefit. I came to the conclusion, I, myself, should not only have friends like myself, who were also struggling, but instead, surround myself with successful people also. And, also, if I found myself within misery, I should remain cheerful. I realized, if I'd also be miserable in my misery, I'd definitely attract more misery. But if I maintain a joyful and happy disposition, I'd surely attract success. Soon, I landed a lucrative job. Personally, I'm not one for wealth and all that is splendor. There are stinking rich people like some movie actors who continue to live simple lives and who are extremely charitable. We must realize we possess tremendous inner power. When you exist on the other side after the worldly demise, you do not build a beautiful house next to a lake with a boat. Instead you will be able to will a beautiful house lake and boat into existence from nothing instantly. It is this inner strength at our disposal, which we are free to tap into. We can realize all our wishes through what we term, the law of attraction. This is so because we as human beings share in the God-given splendor. The world is not our abode, it's a temporary habitat. We are here on our soul journey. We are here to to learn, because we are a spark of the divine. We were not made to suffer. But we've undertaken our soul's journey before we were born.